Hello and welcome to this video on the Matrix Explorer in Intersight. You can find the Explorer by going to the infrastructure service and then analyze. And this tool essentially allows you to graph all the metrics that are retrieved from your IMM domains. To do so, you can go and select a metric from the metric selection. And here you will first be presented with the option of picking an instrument. Now, an instrument is essentially something that can gather data, like a temperature sensor, a power supply, and so on. So for this example, let's just go with the fan, and then we are presented with a list of metrics. Now, metrics are essentially measurements for the specific instrument. So in our case, for the fan, we have fan speed as a measurement. Once we select that, we are then presented with a list of statistics. This is the aggregation that is done in Intersight. So let's take a short example to make things clearer. Let's say you want to look at the past 30 days and you want to get the maximum fan speed per day. Now each day consists of a lot of individual data points. Intersight can go ahead and calculate the maximum per day, aggregating all of those individual data points down to one single data point per day. So by doing this selection here for the statistic, you are essentially selecting what kind of aggregation you want to happen for the time period. So in our case, we select maximum, which means we're always gonna get the maximum fan speed for the particular time periods that we're going to look at. If you want to learn more about the metrics that are available here, you can go to the supported metrics page in the Intersight API docs, where we have a list of all the instruments. And if you then drill down on a particular instrument, you will get a list of all the details. For example, for fan, you will see all the attributes. And if you scroll down on that page, you will also see all the supported devices. Now let's jump back to our Explorer. We can see we have one line rendered and this one line represents the maximum fan speed for our entire account or at least all the devices that are reporting data. If we want to limit the data, we can see here, we can add a filter. Now the filter consists of an attribute, one of the ones we've just seen, a condition like equal and then we can select a device from the list. Of course, you could also enter this manually, but everything here is graphically supported. We are still only seeing one line though, even so this device has multiple fans. So what we can do is we can add a group by condition, which essentially allows us to create multiple lines based on the groups we are selecting with the group by condition. Now, we will select name, so the name of the fan as the group by condition. And what we're gonna notice is we get this error message, which basically tells us that we have too many lines to graph. So what we can do is we can apply the top n function right below, which essentially filters it down to the top five or for however many lines we want to have. If you want to, you can combine these top n lines into a single line again using the aggregation that basically aggregates only the lines you can see into this one line. Let's go ahead and remove that again, which gives us our individual lines. We can also remove the group by. And now let's just look at a different aspect of the Explorer. You see that there's the raw data below, which shows you all the actual data points that you're graphing. And you can also just export the data from there as a CSV file. So far, we have only looked at line charts, but you can also change the chart type, for example, to a bar chart if you want to. You can also go ahead and modify the time interval, which basically determines what period of time is shown in the chart. You can also modify the granularity, which determines the number of data points that will be shown. So with a granularity of 10 minutes, every 10 minutes there will be one data point in the chart. So far, we have only ever looked at graphing a single metric. Even when we split it up with a group by, 
we only ever showed fan speed. You can clone this to create a second metric or you can use the add metric button. Let's go ahead and clone it, which basically just means that we now have two metrics shown. Showing the same metric twice isn't all that useful. So let's select a different one. We're going to select host energy and then we will select sum as a statistic. If you want to investigate what these metrics do, what's the difference between energy and power, you can hover over this info icon to get a description of each of them. Now that we're sure that we got the right one, we're just going to click select and our metric will be graphed. So now you see we have two lines, one for each metric. Right now that's a bit problematic because the energy is very low while the fan speed is very high which basically means that we don't have a very useful chart. We can go to the display options to customize the y-axis and we're going to move the host power to the right hand side. Now we have two y-axis which means that the graph can scale much better. With this you should hopefully have a better understanding of how the metric explorer works. One last thing we're going to look at is this code tab which basically shows the API request or requests that are performed to render this chart. So this is basically based on the two metric queries we're doing. And what you can see here, we can actually see that this is a list of queries and we can select the first one and you could use that and post it against the API to get the same result as an API request. Now, this exploration will just go away once you close the Explorer. To save it for the future, you can click the Save button on the top right, give it a name, and then you just save it. If you want, you can also add it to a dashboard from here, but we're going to skip that for now. So now we've got an exploration, the exploration got a name, and we can go back to it later. We can still add it to a dashboard from here, by just clicking Add to Dashboard, selecting the dashboard, and that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you and have fun graphing your own metrics.